Hello, I'm Susan Murphy with the Early Learning Coalition of North Florida. Today, volunteers, readers, teachers, and parents, we're going to become ocean, underwater, explorers, and maybe some scientists. We are going to investigate the five layers of the ocean, or better yet, let's make them three layers because I understand Oreos better than I do the layers of the ocean. So we're going to take a look at the ocean in three different layers. The very first top layer of the ocean is called the sunlight area. And this is when I'm in the water swimming and I've got my goggles on and I roll over and look up under the water and I see all the sun rays coming through. And also when I'm looking around, I do see very illuminated, beautiful, watery pictures. There are now the middle, which is the white stuffing in the Oreo, is we get down a little bit deeper. This is the area that it's like having a nightlight in your bedroom. You can kind of see some things, but it's shadowy and dark. Now, when I'm swimming in the sunlight, I can hold my breath. But when I get down to the twilight zone, I can't hold my breath anymore, so I put on goggles and a snorkel so I can breathe. I can still float to the top in sunlight, and I can still float to the top in the twilight zone. But here we go into the bottom area of the ocean layers. And this is called the midnight layer, the abyss, and the trenches. We can't even scuba dive here. So as I go deeper into my twilight zone, I get into the midnight zone. I've got to put my scuba equipment on because I can't snorkel anymore. And I need my oxygen tanks on the back. And it's so heavy when I'm in here, I have to be careful to come back up to the surface so my body doesn't begin to hurt with the weight of the water. So now we're gonna go into the abyss and the trenches and it's just as dark as it sounds. We can't go in to the abyss or the trenches with snorkel, goggles, or scuba. We need a submarine to go down there. We need a whole boat that's just like an encapsulated boat. I can't even walk out on the deck. And when we go down into the abyss, we see some very interesting creatures, but it's so heavy down there. If I was to just walk out, it would feel like 48 jet planes sitting on my chest. When I go down to the trenches, my friends, no submarine can go there. No human beings been down there. We just sit and we float in the midnight zone in our submarine and we drop down cameras and lights and we look for the very interesting and very strange small ocean creatures. Well, if I was an ocean creature, where would I live in these zones? Well, if I'm in the top sunlight zone, just think about it. It's deep, but not so deep. It's the deep area of running one football field and two football fields, or I could jog around the track. That's how deep the sunlight is. And when I'm in the sunlight, I could see shark, I could see sea turtles, and I could see all sorts of fish. This is the reason why the majority of our sea creatures live in the top sunlight zone. Now, the middle zone, now remember, this is where it begins to get dark and it's like having your nightlight on and it's three times around the jogging track. And I'm gonna be seeing whales and hatchet fish and kind of mushy octopuses. When I'm in my scuba gear, I can swim around using my scuba and I can see this. But I'm gonna finally go down to the midnight abyss and trench. And remember, only the cameras can go down there. And just imagine, this is my camera I'm looking at and then all of a sudden, I see a blobfish. What in the world is a blobfish? 
It is seven miles deep down to the trenches. So the next time you're in the car with mom and dad and you're leaving the driveway, you're going to say, mom, dad, could you tell me when seven miles have gone by? And that's how far you would go down to the abyss and the trenches. This is the layer that we're still exploring and discovering. It's the biggest mystery under the ocean. Thank you so much for joining me. In the next video following, we're going to be following some STEM curriculum guidelines as I attempt to create the five zones of the ocean. Take care.